what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. That's right, it's Friday, so we welcome in our movie and TV critic, Ryan J, with what to see or not to see this weekend. Hey, Ryan, you got some big news. Yes, can you believe that just last night they announced the Wicked movie casting. They found their witches. It's going to be Cynthia Erivo, Tony, Grammy, Emmy winner as Alphaba, and Ariana Grande, multi-Grammy winner, is Glinda. So I cannot imagine two better living actresses for this, this film. I'm obsessed awesome. with Ariana. <laughs> yeah. Big news. Pretty cool. Okay, well, let's get into some of the movies for this weekend, too. That's exciting. So we'll look forward to following up with that. Um, open right now, though, is Eternals PG-13 in theaters. Right. Eternals answers the question, when do we know that superhero genre movies are oversaturated? This is the one. It's too much. <laughs> and basically, it, it starts off like as a as sort of schlocky kind of hard sci-fi movie. Doesn't feel like the stuff that we normally get from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Angelina's beautiful. She looks diaphanous. The ensemble's okay, but they've got too many of them and there's too much to do, so it's confusing. And they feel like they're posing and trying too hard as, as superheroes. It's almost a caricature of what you think superheroes would have to be. The first hour and a half, confusing, slow, boring. Then the last hour was really good. So I'm thinking if you're a Marvel completist and you want to see how this ties into the cinematic universe, then you could wait to stream Eternals. All right. Okay. Interesting, Ryan. Let's talk about Red Notice. This one is in theaters, right? This is in theaters today and next Friday, streaming on Netflix. And this has three of the biggest stars in the world right now. You've got Dwayne Johnson, Ryan Reynolds, Gal Gadot, they're all doing their thing. Gal, it's really great. You see her flex a lot of real fun in this in this movie. She shows a lot more personality. Ryan Reynolds is as funny as he's ever been. You know, he goes through the shtick that we expect from him, but it's not stale like it would be if it was someone like Ben Stiller. He's got that dry sarcasm. And Dwayne Johnson, the biggest bankable star. And you can tell they're having fun while they're making this movie. It's an action crime heist thriller if they're not reinventing the wheel some of the cinematography is really beautiful to look at they go all over the world and it's funny and it reminded me a little bit of uh, indiana jones in the sense that they're they're kind of trying to go after an artifact and figure out where that's coming from and this has a twist upon a twist upon a twist it will keep you on your toes i really enjoyed it it's a crowd pleaser see it i want to see that one fun okay good people too all right spencer rated r in theaters this is the one where Kristen stewart is playing princess diana yes. it's a new bio it takes place over three days. She is getting so much Oscar buzz for her performance right now, which really irks me because aside from her accent and the costuming, I think this movie is absolutely disgusting. Ooh, really? Tell us yeah, more. I'm, I'm angry. This movie completely desecrates the image of the most beloved historical figure of our time. <gasps> it's the same director as Jackie, but you know, they, they did a horrible disservice to her memory and her legacy. They depict her as annoying and whiny and like a total nut job. They make it seem like you know, Prince Charles and the Queen are the sane ones around her. They take it totally for granted that the audience should enter this film already knowing that she has been enduring years of emotional abuse and trauma, but they don't. That just makes her look like she's crazy. And they also chose to fictionalize the things happening in her life as opposed to drawing from actual drama that legitimately happened that would have been screen worthy. So hate is not a strong enough word for me. I despise this movie. It's disgusting. Skip it. <gasps> Offensive. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That makes me so sad. Seriously. Um, your last one is on Apple TV Plus, and this is Finch, PG-13. Finch is great, and Finch again proves that Tom Hanks is all you need to carry an entire movie. I love this is on Tom Apple Hanks. TV Plus. Right. And this is produced by Robert Zemeckis, who directed him in Castaway. So it has that, you know, solid, solitary feeling for Tom Hanks. He's got a dog. He's got a robot. It's post apocalyptic. And you can tell that he's not going to be around much longer. So he's created this robot to look after his dog oh. when he can no longer make it. It is a mm. real love letter to those of us who have dogs and love them. The CGI, that robot is all CGI. You wouldn't know it. The dog was a rescue dog at two years old. They got to do amazing things. The most beautiful dog mm. will pull your heart it's a wonderful emotional movie it's great uh and stream it now on apple tv plus love it ryan thanks for joining us today good to see you thanks you too. Ryan. thank you guys you bet you can like ryan j on facebook follow him on instagram and twitter and for his full entertainment reviews check out his website ryanjreviews.com